Romans chapter 1, verses 1 through 21. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, set aside for the good news of God, which he promised before through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, according to his Son, who was born of the offspring of David, according to flesh, who was declared to be the Son of God with powers, according to the Spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we received grace and apostleship for obedience of faith among all the nations for his name's sake, among whom you are also called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all who are in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you that your faith is proclaimed throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve in my spirit in the good news of his Son. How unceasingly I make mention of you always in my prayers, requesting, if by any means now at last I may be prospered by the will of God to come to you. For I long to see you that I may impart to you some spiritual gifts, to the end that you may be established, that is, that I with you may be encouraged in you, each of us, by the other's faith, both yours and mine. Now I don't desire to have you unaware, brothers, that I often planned to come to see you and was hindered thus far, that I might have some fruit among you also, even among the rest of the Gentiles. I am debtor both to Greeks and the foreigners, both to the wise and to the foolish. So as much as is in me, I am eager to preach the good news to you also who are in Rome. For I am not ashamed of the good news of Christ, for it is the power of God for salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jews first and also the Greek. For in it is revealed God's righteousness from faith to faith, as it is written, but the righteous shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness, because that is which is known of God is revealed in them, for God revealed it to them. For the invisible things of him since the creation of the world are clearly seen, being perceived through the things that are made, even his everlasting power and divinity that may be without excuse. Because knowing God, they didn't glorify him as God and didn't give thanks, but became vain in their reasoning and their senseless heart was darkened. 